Welcome Wolf and Wolfettes, we are back with Blood Bowl and today we are going to absolutely crush the one reborn. Now, what we got to do today, we need to fight down here through a couple of those weird many face guys, as you can see down there, there's one there. Oh, what's this? Behold, a pale blood sky. Um, <laughs> okay then, it doesn't look that pale to me, it looks pretty uh, demonic and red actually. Now, we've got to fight through a couple of these annoying guys today, and then we should be at the boss. And there's a couple of uh, sets of armor around here that we're going to grab before we do that. Okay. I've got to tell you, I absolutely hate these guys. As you saw yesterday in that terrible video, these, <laughs> these guys are the flipping worst. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't really want to take any damage. Because uh, this is another boss that's got an annoying shortcut. The shortcut we unlocked yesterday, that is pretty much the shortcut to this boss. So if we die, we have to come down that bit we did yesterday and go all the way down here again, fighting through all these guys with the faces, you know? So this is the kind of boss that you definitely want to take out in one. But when we get to the fog, I'll explain the boss to you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that's a nice set. I think that's the helmet I've been using in my main playthrough. Well, they had a very... They didn't have a fun time, did they? They come all the way to the end of this, um... This end of this, like... Courtyard for a bit of praying, and they've gone and died. Madman's knowledge. Madman's knowledge. Madman's knowledge. Alright, let's have a quick look up here. What I'm gonna do is, because we're getting pretty close to the end now, I'll say about five more episodes, depending how well I perform, we should be able to get to the final boss. But... What I'm going to do when I get to the final boss, I'm going to leave it up to you guys whether I continue or not. Because there's a couple of bosses that I can do. There's a couple of items I can show you before we actually finish the game. So I'll leave it up to you guys. Because I don't mind playing this. It is a pain in the ass with all the hard bosses. But I don't mind playing it for you guys. It's up to, it's up to you lot. So I'll leave it up to you. Holy shit, so I just went flying past my head. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. You know those fat guys? Look over there, you see it to the corner? In this section, they spit like blood at you. <laughs> oh no, I think there's two of them. And there's also a couple with weapons walking around. And there's also a sniper up here with a gun. Where is he? There he is, see him with his top hat? My top hat's better than yours, mate. That's a fact. Okay, I think there's a, uh, a room we can hide in around here. Oh shit, oh. Oh no, this is the way we want to go. Oh! <laughs> this is the way we want to go up here. His uh, face is... Oh no, he's following me. He is following me. I think it was Keely New one that said in the comments. I haven't actually replied to the comments yet. I forgot, but I'll reply in a minute. But, um, I think she said that these guys look like the doll from Silent Hill Revelations. Which is definitely true. That thing was scary as hell. <laughs> oh, I hate Silent Hill. I hate scary games. Old Tom Wolf and his fascination with me playing scary games. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> I'm still going to have to play the house too one day though. Maybe around Halloween. Beast blood pellets. Okay, now. Nah. Oh yeah, perfect. <laughs> Finally some blood vials. Now nah, I think... Oh, I've got to be honest, I don't think I've ever come up here before. Oh, what's this? Oh no, I don't know what I've just done. Oh no. Oh no, <laughs> I've gone and clicked something. I don't even know what it does. I hope this ain't teleported me somewhere as I'm screwed. Wait a minute. Oh, hey, 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 pack it in, angry dog, pack it in. Where the flipping hell have you taken me? Oh, another one! There's got to be a uh, bell bitch around here, because these doggies are red. Orange. Whatever colour. I don't know where I am. I don't want to stay. If we can go back, we're going to go back, because I've got no idea where I am. <laughs> Flipping out, I didn't know they did that. No, that's another area I'm going to have to explore. I was worried I'd killed myself or something then. But we're not going to worry with that for now, because I want to go and fight the boss today. I should have done it bloody yesterday. What a disaster yesterday was. Is this the correct way? There's a bell bitch there. <laughs> oh, 
I was looking for you in my main playthrough. I couldn't find this bell bitch. I guess oh there we, well there she is then. Nah. Where where is it? We gotta head to that's where we gotta go. You see that bigger light doorway? In that section there, that's where the boss is gonna be. So we're pretty close. But there's a lot of these weird million face guys around here. Well, I think we've actually skipped a few of them, to be fair. I think we actually might have skipped a lot of them. Holy shit, we actually skipped all of them. Oh, well, that's alright. If we die, we ain't got to worry too much. <laughs> oh, dear. I think I'm literally on the lowest end of what you can be to fight this guy. I think the recommended level was like 60 to 80 or something. And I'm, I think I'm actually level 60. Madman's knowledge. Yeah, I think I'm actually level 60. Oh, shit, I'm level 58. <laughs> Oh, this ain't going to be good. Well, I'm going to try it anyway. And if I can't defeat him, I'll quickly level up off camera and then I'll come back and do it. Okay. <laughs> you stupid gits. Oh, I'm happy I found that. We ain't got to fight them gits now. Okay. Now, let me get down here and I'll explain what's going to happen. Now, this boss, right, he is an, he is an absolute mess. He's, he's like made up of about 50 people stuck together. And what's going to happen, you're going to fight the boss and he is massive, right? There is a lot of places he can hit you because he's got about 50 legs. If you go behind him, there's a small little section near the back end of him, sort of near his, well, I guess it's a towel. There's this like little red blob. And if you hit him there, he pretty much cannot hit you at all and you can do a lot of damage to him. Now, up on these, um, these like balconies, there is going to be a couple of bell bitches. Three of them will shoot fireballs at you. They don't really do too much damage, but they can be quite annoying, especially when you're on low health. And then the other three are going to throw these little purple orbs, and they're supposed to... I mean, I had to Google this because I didn't know what they were doing, but the purple orbs are supposed to heal the boss. But from what I've seen, if they heal the boss, they're literally doing zero healing at all because you don't notice him healing at all. Now, the boss, at different stages, is going to gain new abilities, like, and he does like weird... Blood explosions, weird poison explosions. He also does a thing where he like rain, rains down body parts on you. He does a lot of weird stuff, but you could pretty much hide from him underneath, underneath all these little balcony bits. You can hide from most of his abilities, but just stick to that little red like boil on his ass, I guess, and just keep hitting it, and you should take him out pretty fast. Also, I recommend using some fire paper if you've got any. You should have some at this point in the game. Okay, I'm gonna have a. Uh Blood vial. Hopefully we can take him out in one. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm a little bit underleveled. But there'll be three up there. Bell bitches. And three up there. You can go up there and kill them. But you don't really have to. I suppose you can if the fireballs are getting annoying. But I'm pretty sure they will respawn. I didn't really check. Because I ignored them. Oh god, <laughs> you see what I mean? He is a big git, isn't he? I'll try and show you the bit. Oh, did you just see that purple orb then? You want to just try and dodge his legs? Oh shit, I just took one to the face. I'm probably going to die the first time while I show you. Right, this bit right here, if you get in here, see, sort of here, where there's like weird like red glowing goo is. If you hit him here, he doesn't, do, he doesn't really get to do much. But you do have to watch out for the fire, bitches.
flipping fire is annoying as hell. Careful. Oh! Take a potion! Oh shit, how did I die? How the hell did I die? Oh, you get. Okay, well, I'm not sure what hit me then. I think it was just the fire bitches. Okay, we are back. I went back to the um, Hunter's Dream quickly and I uh, upgraded my weapon a little bit. Added a couple of bloodstone chunks to it. Maybe that bit of extra damage will help us. <laughs> I also changed my armor a little bit. I've added a couple of pieces that have got a little bit of fire resistance and a lot of blood resistance. Because that seems to be the things that are killing me. But, let's do it. Let's bloody do it. <laughs> Hopefully the second try I'll be able to take him out. But if the uh, fire bitches do annoy you, you can go up and kill them. It's just, I'm not sure if they respawn or not. Because I'm pretty sure they will. Because otherwise people would just pretty much kill them every time. Because it's not really hard and this guy can't get you when you're up there. Well, he can, but he takes a while to start attacking. Okay. Oh. Oh, thank you, uh, random person. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Make sure you get to that spot that I mentioned, though. Bloody hell. Oi, come on, bloody hell, give me a chance. Ugh, what was that? Okay, let's do it. Okay, I think we've got to move for a minute. Okay, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to take out a couple of these bell bitches, just in case, because they're bloody annoying. As you can see, they're throwing like purple orbs to him right now. And as you can see, see what I mean? I can't really see him healing at all, so the healing they do must be very minimal. Oh shit! Oh, I shouldn't have come up here. It's actually pretty deadly up here. <laughs> I think I might have gone to the wrong side. I don't think they throw the... Uh, I don't think they throw the fireballs from this side. It might be the other side. Oh, shit. Oh, well, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> okay, let's get some more fire on the weapon. Uh, if he's really close, we can get to... There we go. Dodge. These flipping little legs are so annoying. <laughs> At a certain percentage, he like goes a bit crazy and does an explosion. I, I can't remember what percentage it was, but we're gonna have to watch out for it. Because he starts sort of falling apart. That might have been it, I'm not sure. I don't think I was supposed to come in yet, I think he was just like stunned a bit. <laughs> oh, here we go. I think that was the thing. Yep, this is the bit. Oh, dear. Oh, it's a good job I don't do guide videos. I, 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 I do very weird guides. Come on, it's a little bit more. Get your stamina up, B-Wolf, come on. One more hit, don't be a prick. There you go. There you go. Go on. Good job, B Wolf. Good job. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yellow backbone. Okay. Well, that's that gone and done. Ah, oh, brilliant. Yellow backbone is a material that you use to put in the chalices. Ah, oh, flipping hell. Good job, B Wolf. When I say B Wolf, uh, just in case you didn't know, my character's name is B Wolf. I'm not saying good job to myself, because. Uh, that would be a little bit, a little bit weird. <laughs> okay, let's light this lamp. Now, I think we're going up there now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where we go next. Okay. Let's quickly light this. I'm going to go back and do a little bit of leveling up. Then we're going to head to the next area. Now, the next area oh, is it's full of some insane creatures. 
some insane monsters and there is so much frenzy going on in this place. You're going to need a lot of frenzy resistance, especially for this first bit. Okay, now what do I want to do? I'm going to quickly go and repair my weapon. Because that's always a good thing to do. I think as you take more damage on your weapon, you do a little bit less damage. So you want to keep it repaired as much as you can. Okay, so that's that. And then we're going to go and level up a little bit. I think when I fought the final boss, well, the final boss before the ending, it was, um, I think I was level 72. Well, so I'm only level 58 at the moment, and we're two bosses away from the end. <laughs> oh, it's going to be bad, it is. Okay. Okay, uh, stop talking to me, doll. Alright, I'm going to want to put one in my stamina, one in that, one in that, one in... Oh, there we go, four points, oh, that's alright. Yeah, that'll do. Maybe you take one out of my health? No, I'm going to keep one in my health, actually. Okay. Right. Now, I'm going to quickly check how many blood vials I've got in the bank, and then we're going to head on to the next place. Right, let's have a look. Um, oh, shit, I've only got three in the bank. So I've got 21 in my pocket, three in the bank. Right, I'm going to use these uh, 2,000 souls that I've got to buy a couple of blood vials. I know it's very wasteful, and I'll probably make people furious when I do it, but I, I really hate farming, I'll tell you. After playing many years of World of Warcraft and other games, I just I despise farming now. <laughs> oh, okay, where am I going? For some reason, I'm heading to the chalice altars. Okay, right. Um, Advent Plaza? I think it's this one. Okay, right. Now, this is where we are heading next. I think it's called the Lecture Building. Oh, hello. <laughs> What's that say? Have audience with the dead. I don't want to have audience with the dead. Oh, that seems like a terrible idea. Holy shit. Look at their hats. Oh, I want one. <laughs> I definitely want one. God, they look like they look like something that belongs in the evil within or something. Look at them flipping hell. Inspect mummy. Oh, hello, mummy. That's it. We've probably just gone and killed ourselves. We're dead. We are absolutely dead. There we go. The lecture building. Nightmare Lecture Building Trophy. Cool. Okay, now, in this building, you've got two places you can go. You've got the next place, which will continue on with the story, which is the Nightmare of Memphis, I think it's called that. And then, after that, you've got a different place called the Nightmare Frontier. In the Nightmare Frontier, there's a uh, spidery sort of boss. Well, it's pretty... You know those guys that were shooting us with the lasers yesterday? If you go there, there's one of them you can fight. And it actually, um... It drops a, another chalice for you. So you can go to the Nightmare Frontier and fight that, an optional boss. Or you can go to um, the Nightmare of Memphis, I think it is, where you'll continue on with the story bosses. But we'll be continuing on with the normal for now, and then once we've done that, I'll come back and do optional bosses if you guys want. I think there's someone hiding up on the roof in here. Oh, there, there we go. The people in here are disgusting. They look like somebody that's been left in the ocean for a couple of years. And then come back to life. I think it drops down when I get here. Oh, look at it. Oh, they are scary, aren't they? Ain't they creepy? <laughs> you can definitely tell that the person that created this game, I forgot his name now, which is pretty shameful because he is a legend. But he was a fan of Dracula and books like that. You can definitely tell. You can definitely tell. Even just the buildings look creepy. Okay. I'm not sure how long I've been recorded, but I'm going to try and make a longer episode today to make up for yesterday, because I, I do apologise for yesterday, Wolf Morphet. I know that's my channel and that, and it's up to me if I want to be a twat, but... I mean, I'll make these videos for you guys. Oh! And I don't want to, uh, you know, create shitty videos that you don't enjoy watching. Ugh! What's he doing? He's like that toy, Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> I don't know if anyone knows what they are. They're like, they're like a 90s toy. <laughs> Oh, flipping hell. Oh, these are... Uh, what's he doing? What the flipping hell are you doing? <laughs> he's got no bones, he ain't. You want this? Oh, he's not happy. 
Oh, they're scary and creepy. I don't, I don't want to play. <laughs> I don't want, I don't want to do this. Who the hell is shooting? Look, mate, it's too cold for a water fight. Come on, leave it. Pack it in. They got water guns and everything. The little gits. I mean, I could do with a bath. Maybe they're trying to help me out. After all this uh, battling of beasts, I'm just covered in blood. Now, is there one round here? No. Or is it round here? There is definitely one hiding. There he is. <laughs> Your plans don't work with me. Oh, he nearly body slammed me then. Bloody hell. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Look at him. It's like Dragon Ball Z giant. Flipping hell. Okay, right. We're going to take out this guy. We're going to go down there because I think there's an item. And then this is the door that leads to um, the Nightmare of Memphis. I think it's called that. I'm, ju I'm just guessing. Or Mensis or something like that. This guy hits like a flipping tank, so watch out. If he actually can hit me, that is. He seems a bit stupid. What are you doing, Giant? Come on, it can't be that hard. I mean, I understand missing me with an axe, because an axe is a bit unpredictable, but they're your fists. <laughs> How can you miss with your own fist? What you want to do, though, is when you attack every enemy in this game, hit them until you've got one teeny bit of stamina left, and then just keep that with you in case you need to dodge. <laughs> ah! You son of a bitch! Cool. You look a bit bigger than the other ones as well. I think it's because you're standing up straight. The other guys were a bit drooped over. I'm taking a lot of stupid hits right now. <laughs> there we go. Now, have you got anything delicious for me? They normally have uh, vials. Oh, all that for a twin peak flipping blood shard. Now, which door is it? Maybe it's... Is this a door? Yeah, because there's a few important items down there in that like lecture-looking room. But if you go down, that leads to the um, the nightmare frontier. Oh, oh, I saw ya! I saw your ooze. <laughs> you see this bit of ooze just hanging around the corner. Oh, oh, I don't like these things. Got to tell you, I'm actually a bit scared of these. <laughs> Make some spooky noises. Oi, what would you, you change your target for, B-Wolf? What are you doing? Oh, is he the one with the water gun? Yep, he is. Ugh! What are you doing? He's puking in a jar and frying it at me. I thought you guys were friendly. I thought you were giving me a bath. But it turns out they're frying puke at me. What a, <laughs> what a bunch of pricks. How'd you like that? How'd you like getting flattened? Oh. Oh, his friend ain't happy with it. Stop throwing a puke at me. It's not very nice, you know. Even for a monster. Bloodstone chunk. Oh, I suppose that was worth it. Worth my time, I guess. But if you go through that door I just opened, that leads to the Nightmare Frontier. But we are going to go to the next place. And I'll probably do a little bit of battling in there, then I'm probably going to have to end it for today, because I'm going to need to... um change my armor into some frenzy resistance gear and also uh, maybe put on a different ruin and i don't want to waste time doing that i might as well do it off camera are you you're not even wearing your little lamp i thought things looked a bit dark put your lamp on beowulf every time you die it seems to unequip it for some reason a bit bloody annoying actually a bit annoying i don't trust these rooms is there any water guys <laughs> what was the point in coming in here I mean, I suppose if you want some cake, but I don't see many other reason to come in here. Okay, let's go. Okay, we are back. The Nightmare of Mensis. Okay, we're sort of right then, weren't I? <laughs> okay, what we're going to do, we're going to get to the next lamp. I'm going to explain something to you, and then I'm going to have to end it for today. Hopefully I've been recording a bit longer than usual. I think it'll be about, about 30 minutes, maybe. Hopefully. I'm just guessing right now. I've got a clock right in front of me. But because when I die, I've got like a... I've got to do a lot of running back and I've got to cut that out. I, I sort of forget how long I've been recording. 
This has definitely been one of my more difficult playthroughs for YouTube. <laughs> Normally they're just fun and they're simple, but this I've got to like explain things to you just in case you're not familiar with the Souls games because they can be quite confusing for new people. And then I've also got the uh, the deaths from bosses. And not many games do you even die in these days. These guys hit like an absolute dick, they do. I mean, they go absolutely insane. So getting a backstab on them is brilliant. And also, when you kill them, if you kill them the normal way, just by battling them, when they die, they shoot like two snakes out of their um, stomach. And you'd think, ah, they're just little snaky worms. They're fine, but I tell you, they're a pain in the ass to hit. You've got to watch out. They're so annoying to try and hit. <laughs> but if you could backstab them, all is well. Oh, come here, mate. Come here. Quick. No. No, I want your chunks. I need them. No, no, no. Not off the edge. Not off the edge. Where you go? What's he doing? <laughs> he just gave up on life. He did. He didn't even care. Okay, let's grab this. Oh, frenzied cold blood. Nah, you see that window up there with that glowing scary light? Every time that glows, you take massive frenzy damage. Your frenzy bar will fill up really quick, and you will also be all spikes coming out of your body, and you will slowly take damage. So as you run through this area, you want to try and keep behind these. But if you wear some frenzy armor, you could pretty much sprint through the whole thing, ignoring all the enemies, and then you should be all right. But we're going to get over here. We're going to light this lamp. And I'm going to end it here for today, and then we'll continue this bit next time when I'm a bit more prepared. Thanks for watching, Wolf Morphex. Hopefully this video went a bit better than yesterday's. Well, I'm sure it did. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Wolf Morphex. Like, share, and join the pack today. <laughs>